channel. Today we're going to do a little crafting. Um, this is the finished product. It started life as an old uh, silver tray that I picked up at the at a thrift store here in town. It was very very bad and so I decided not to try and clean it. I probably could have but I didn't need another silver tray. So I decided to do what I wanted to do with it and that was to put some paint on it. So that's what I did. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sh walk you through it. Um, I do have step by step. I have photos where I don't have video and then I do have some video to show you as well. This video thing is new to me so um, I'm learning how to incorporate that in with everything else that I do so please bear with me. Uh, the tray cost me a dollar and fifty cents and that's all I paid for this, this cute little project. Um, because the paint was gifted to me by Dixie Bell because we are now collaborating and I am so excited about that. And I had everything else, the stencil and the glitter glue and everything else. The the, um, the aid that I put on to protect it, the protective layer was also from Dixie Bell. So this actually did cost me $1.50. Now I haven't decided if I'm going to hang it or sit it on my counter, but um, with me going over or trying to change some of my decor uh, from traditional to the modern farmhouse, I'm making a lot of my accessories. So, dollar fifty, cute sign says farmers market. Looks just, um, it has that farmhouse look. So I'm pleased with it, and I'm going to uh, show you how to do it now. In the comment section, I'll have everything that I use. There'll be a product list just in case you'd like to replicate it or take it to the next level. I'm sure you guys have some ideas, and I'd love to see them. I, ho I hope you'll share with me as well. We're all, if we're all crafters, we're learning together. So um, I'm going to go now, and I'm going to move on to show you how this was done. And then maybe you can leave in the comments and let me know if I should hang it on a wall or lean it on my counter or just how I should use it. Yeah, that would be good if you would give me some ideas of how you would use it. I'm thinking kitchen because it's, of course, because it says farmer's market. So give me some ideas of what you think I should do with it. That being said, let's move on to crafting. Oh, and one more thing before we go. If you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, be sure to hit the, um, the little bell because the little bell will, let, will notify you whenever I upload a new video. And there will be others coming. Um, if you're following my blog, then you know that when I started with this, this tray, um, I actually started with quite a few items that I picked up from thrift stores and from uh, the flea market. And I had candlesticks, and I had bottles, and I had jars, and I was trying to decide if I could, I, I could marry some of them and put them together, or um, what I would do with them. So I, I've, I've done a lot of the, the preliminary work, so I've decided that as I complete one, what I'll do is I'll bring it here and share it with you guys. And as I said, maybe it's something that you would use. Also, guys, um, on my blog, I also have um, what I call C4 Creations, which is a little market, I guess, where if you see anything that I've made that you like, you can actually purchase it. Because as I make it, I also, if I'm not using it, as I make it, I also put it um, into the C4 Creations, my little, my little boutique. So I haven't branched out to sell it any place else yet, but you can purchase a lot of my items um, on my blog, just in case you didn't know that. And you probably didn't because I never told you before. So let's move right along. Um, subscribe as I asked, you know, before, down below, and let's get crafting. I'll see you on the other side. So I have this liquor bottle here that was saved for, saved for me from a um, by a friend. It's really pretty. It has one coat of paint on it already. Um, not sure how it's going to end up, but we'll see. And in the back there, there's a silver tray that I picked up um, my last, my last, during my last, last thrifting haul. That boy, that was hard to say. Um, and it also has one coat of paint on it. And I'll be doing something else with it as well. Here I have a vase. Um, and this little thing here is a Voltive holder, as you can see right there. And then I have this jar with the lid here. Um, I have a candlestick here and a taller candlestick back there. And then another jar with the lid. I'm also going to do something with the three 
um, pillar candles you see back there and not um, that won't involve paint but well maybe it won't involve paint we'll see but um they're going to be included too so I may not finish it all this afternoon but I thought I'd let you guys see what I'm working with on this cold Saturday afternoon and I may video some of it as I work so that you can also see the process as I go along and um, yeah that's what I'm doing today so here guys um, I'm just marrying these different pieces together they were all separate um, proportioned separately but I was trying to see what I could marry how I could make them different how I could upcycle them into something else so although this is not part of the painting uh, process I'm using my uh, E6000 to put some of them together. Um, I think, you know, giving something a little height always makes it look uh, a little more expensive. And uh, this E6000 is great. Once it sits overnight, they are there forever. You can wash them um, and they still hold and maintain. I've used it for a very long time and I've not had any issues with it. So what I'll do is I'll end up putting these all together. They will dry overnight, and then tomorrow um, is when I will, or after they dry, it may not be tomorrow, I will finish um, any painting I'm going to do or however I'm going to finish them up. The tray didn't need any of this, but I just um, wanted to show you how all of the pieces were coming together, although the tray is what spotlighted in this particular video. It's just a little patience. And like I said, they will have to sit overnight. Careful with that E6000 because as I said, it's very sticky. Um, but if you will use a baby wipe or a hand wipe um, right away, it generally takes it off of your fingers or anything. I generally work in gloves and I don't know why I didn't have any on while I was doing this. But I work in um, plastic gloves because it makes it easier because this stuff is really, really sticky. But it works. And now... I'm putting this together as I said and once these are together and they sit at least for overnight that's when I would go back and start painting them so yeah that's what I'm doing right now and the next step I think will be showing you how I've completed and finished the uh, the tray Here guys, I'm just um, putting a second coat on the bottle. I'm using the, um, the sponge brush to, to pop this paint on because I like the fact that it gives it a little texture, um, a little depth. It makes it look a little more old world and realistic um, as the bottle is painted. And in some cases, you know, you can add different layers of paint. But here I'm just adding one layer. It's the second coat. I thought that all of the pieces would need a second coat because it's glass. Generally with Dixie Bell paint, you don't need a second coat, but because it's glass and it's um, a bit transparent and um, because the paint is so light, I thought it might be best to add a second coat to each one of the, um, the pieces that's gonna, that are going to receive paint. Let me know what you think. Moving right along. And now I'm stenciling the uh, tray. As you can see, it's gotten a second coat of paint. Um, I've also added a little uh, color to the edge, and now I'm adding the stencil. I've, I had the stencil already on, on hand, I think I, I said at the beginning of the video, but I wanted it to have that farmhouse look, so it says uh, farmer's market, and I just stencil it in black. It seems very classic. Um, and it's the way most of the farmhouse signs are made. So that's what this will get. And you can see in the background that some of the other items are already painted. They have their other coats on, but they're, they're nowhere near finished. Um, here I'm using a toothbrush to add the, the gray speckles of paint that I was talking about earlier. Makes it easier to go on, and as I said, it gives it um, the old world look. So there it is. It's just about done. I think um, you can see in there where I've had to touch up a little bit, but once that dries, you won't see it. And that's part of the reason that I use the, um, the sponges and tap it on, tap the paint on 
because it's um, it has texture so those touch ups will go away and again I as I said I'm not sure if I'm gonna hang it or if I'm going to um, just sit it up on my on my counter so I'm using my glue gun and my E6000 to attach a ribbon I started to use twine that's very rustic um, but you know I'm a little bit between the farmhouse country and just a little bit of traditional so I decided to add the black ribbon I can always change that at a different date um, I'm using both the glue gun and the E6000 because just in case I decide to hang it um, the E6000 will hold it permanently but the glue gun will hold it for now and put it in um, in place so that uh, I can see where everything is going to be and that's why I'm using both glues and it's on and it's sort of it's it's ad adhered now but as I turned it around I was noticing that I didn't like the way that it would hang I wanted the ribbon attached at the top as well so as you can see in a minute I'm going to also add some E6000 and um, some of the uh, glue from my glue gun to the top as well and it'll lay flatter and I think it'll hang better if I decide to hang it the ribbons there if I need it but um I don't have to use it. I can use it either way, but I thought I would just add it. And so there you have it. It's complete. Um, I hope you like it. I do. And here it is sitting on my kitchen counter. I like it there. Um, it's really pretty under the light, um, under my kitchen cabinet lighting. I think it could either hang or sit, just sit there for a while. I could do either or. I hope you liked it, um, enjoyed the project. I certainly did, and I love sharing it with you. If you can come up with any other ideas for it, please let me know. I thank you for stopping by, and please remember to subscribe and to um, hit the bell so that you will be notified when I upload other uh, videos. I'm glad you stopped by. I hope you'll come back again. And until next time, Happy crafting, and I'll see you on the other side.